everyone, it's James from the Fit RV, and I'm here today with like a little impromptu test or experiment that I hope you like. Um, we have often written about the importance of weighing your rig, and it's really a safety thing. You don't want your rig going down the highway overloaded. It could affect your ability to stop in time, or it could stress parts of your suspension. It's just a bad idea. But weighing your rig, as simple as we've tried to make it with apps and stuff, still means you have to go and drive someplace to like a truck stop or a grain elevator where there's a cat scale, and drive onto it and weigh your rig that way. Well, I was browsing Amazon yesterday morning, literally yesterday morning, and I came across this product, The Better Way, from Kurt. And it promises to be able to weigh your rig without having to travel to a scale. And so I thought, well, Geez, I, I got to know if that works. And so I ordered one. It showed up today. And full disclosure, we have no relationship whatsoever with, with Kurt. So the test you're going to see, this is the first time I've tried to use this thing, and you're going to get what you get. So it is what it is. Um, anyway, so how does it work? So I have to admit, even though we don't have a relationship with Kurt, I'm a little predisposed to like this product because it's the only thing I've ever purchased that has a restatement of Newton's second law of motion on the back of the package in pictogram form. And that's kind of the clue to how this works. Newton's second law, F equals MA, they've restated it as weight is equal to force divided by acceleration. And by using weight, they're assuming constant gravity. But I think for most RVs, gravity is a constant. It's probably an okay assumption. Um, Force, it can get by reading from your vehicle's OBD2 port. If it knows how much torque is being applied, and it knows the size of the wheel, etc., it can determine how much force is being applied to make your vehicle move forward. And acceleration, if it can get the speed, again from OBD2, and it's got little accelerometers in here, it can tell what sort of acceleration you're getting. So from there, it's just going to do the simple division to give you a weight. But how accurate is that? Well. That's the test. So what we're going to do is we're going to install this in Lance. We're going to go find the flat road, do the calibration procedure it calls for, and see what it says Lance weighs. Then we're going to go drive to a CAT scale, and we're going to weigh Lance, and we're going to see how good the better way did. So you're along for the ride. Let's get to it. Now, the product did come with a little installation manual, but there's two steps. Download the app and plug the thing in. So I've already downloaded the app onto my phone and I'm just going to plug it in now. And there we go. We've gone for a little drive. We found a flat, straight stretch of road where I can accelerate up through 15 miles an hour, so we're ready to kind of set this thing up. So let's fire up the app. It's right here. All right, turn on engine, plug in better way. Those things are done. Search for better way. Select your vehicle, VIN unknown, reset better way or tap to enter VIN manually. Connecting to better way. Locate VIN, play, oh geez. So I've entered the VIN and the better way app said it was doing some vehicle calibrations, which I assume means getting torque specs and, and the wheel size and that sort of thing. So now it says place vehicle on level ground, front to back, shift into, new, shift into neutral and release brake. If vehicle rolls, it's not level. Uh, we're rolling. No good. Gotta go find someplace else, I guess. Okay, on our third attempt, we finally found someplace that's level enough. We're in neutral. We're not rolling forwards or backwards. We're doing good. Wind level, shift into park. Turn engine off. Set level. Initializing. Do not bump vehicle. Select better way orientation. Uh, I gotta look. It's more like that. Okay. Wait. Prepare to weigh. For best results, drive to a level road where you can safely accelerate at mid-throttle 0 to 15 miles per hour in a straight line. Okay, I got enough room for that. Ready. From a complete stop, drive in a straight line. Repeat if necessary. All right. Accelerate at mid-pedal through 15 miles per hour. 
Ready? Here we go. Way complete. All right, it says we weigh like 73, that's it? 7,300 pounds. I know Lance weighs more than that, so we're gonna give this another try. I'm gonna back up and we're gonna try it again. Way complete. No, it's coming up at just uh, 7,000, this is even less, 7,000 pounds. So first time, 7,400, for second time, 7,000. Trying this again. So wait, let's see if there's any other settings or calibrations. Units, weigh, no, all right, units, pounds, yeah. Uh, tongue weight, we don't have any of that, payload, weight distribution, calibration, calibration. Calibrate for vehicle weighing. Weigh calibration will be overwritten. Okay. Locate GVWR on VIN label. Well, that's 9350, is it not? Enter GWR 9350. Continue. Locate yellow tire and loading information label. The number after combined weight of occupants of cargo should never exceed. <sighs> Enter max cargo weight. One, eight, three, seven pounds. Continue. Oh, geez. Enter current added weight, including the driver. I don't know. I'd have to go weigh the vehicle to know that. That's silly. All right, so there is a calibration procedure. And so we're running through that, but that is involving just going back and forth and back and forth, accelerate hard, medium, easy, full throttle. So we're doing that time after time here. This is, and judging by the progress bar, we're gonna be here for a good half hour. Um, so I don't know if it'll give us any better results after that, but the first result without the calibration I just know because I know I've weighed Lance enough times to know that that was not good enough. So here we go. This is a maximum acceleration without wheel spin. I'd love to spin out in Lance, but he won't do it. So we've been driving back and forth and back and forth in this parking lot for about a half an hour now. And it's, it's this maximum acceleration, light acceleration, medium acceleration, over and over and over again. Like, it's looking like about 30 times by the time we're done. Maximum acceleration, here we go. Weight calibration complete. Oh my gosh, hallelujah. So, Steph is car sick at this point because we've been doing this for so freaking long. I get extra wife points for this one. Woo All right, so, calibration complete, okay. That was, Seriously, if you have to do this calibration procedure, expect to spend a half an hour just backing up and going forwards and backwards in a parking lot in the same place for as long as you get. Now we're going to try the weight again. So let me back up to the start of our run. There's a business across the street. We're pretty sure they're going to call the cops on us at this point because we have been going back and forth. We're wearing ruts into the ground. <laughs> Cyclists have been going by, going out in the ruts, and then coming back. And then we're still here driving back and forth in this parking lot. It's nuts. Hopefully that helped. So we got like 7,400 and 7,000 pounds. We're gonna try it one more time here. Prepare to drive for best results. Drive to a level road. Ready. From a complete stop, drive in a straight line. Accelerate at mid pedal. Here we go. Way complete. And the winner is... Oh! 
Well, calibration makes a difference because now we get like, apparently, according to this, we're overweight already. We're like 9,800 pounds. Ouch. We're going to try one more way now that we've done the calibration. And because I just like driving back and forth in this parking lot so much, we're going to try this one more time because I don't think we're, we're overweight with no gear in Lance. I don't know. We have a little bit of water, I think, but the tanks are empty and, and there's no cat. So we can't be overweight. We can't be overweight. There's no cat. Okay, here we go. Last time. Wait. Ready. Mid pedal. Way complete. And we'll put it in park. Okay, and this winner is oh so all right this thing really thinks we weigh like 9800 pounds or so well i don't think we're that heavy but it's time to drive to the uh to the scale and find out so we're going to the cat scale all right press accept if location shown is correct pilot travel center yes accept please wait communicating please pull your vehicle on the scale or press the intercom button for assistance Okay, we're pulling on to the scale. Feed, $12, <laughs> except Come on, processing payment. All right. So the scale says 8740 pounds. 8740 pounds. Right there. So let's uh, scratch some heads and see what we can do about this uh, 8740. See what we can do about this, uh, this other app. All right, but I got to get off the scale. Okay, so we got the vehicle weighed and Oddly enough, the calibration procedure for the better way requires you to know what the vehicle weighs in order to do the calibration correctly. So I've backed out the weights that it wants in its calibration procedure. And now, unfortunately, it's wanting me to drive back and forth. So we've come to the same parking lot again to try driving back and forth 130 times to see if we can get it to give us the weight that we already know it is from just going to the scale. So. I'm, I'm forming an opinion on this device. Maybe you can kind of guess what it is, but here we go again, seeing if I can get it to give us an accurate piece of information. One, and this will be our 30th drive back and forth in this empty parking lot. The things I do for you people. Uh, <laughs> this will be number 30. We think it may take 30, but we'll see. Light acceleration, here we go. Weight calibration complete. Look at that. So 30 times back and forth. All right. So now we're going to weigh the thing. So we're going to go back to our starting point. Fingers crossed. Weigh complete. All right. Should give us 87.40. nine thousand four hundred pounds so yeah all right we're gonna go home and then i'm gonna tell you what i think of this thing okay so the kurt better way not really giving this a big thumbs up just now so we did what any normal user would do the first time. We just went out and did the weigh procedure, and it gave us a weight of 7,000 pounds. Now, I know, because I've weighed Lance enough, I know that's not right. So then we did this lengthy 30 times up and down the parking lot calibration procedure, and it gave us a weight of 9,800, 10,000 pounds. And I know that's not right. So then we went and actually weighed Lance and found it was 8,740 pounds. Fine. Using that weight... I then went back and redid because the calibration procedure asks you some weights. So basically, if I told the Better Way app how much Lance weighed 
and then did 30 times up and down the parking lot calibration procedure, how did it do? Well, it was still off by 700 pounds. So I'm not giving this a thumbs up. Um, I am going to try to call Kurt Customer Service and see maybe if we got a bad one or maybe we did something wrong. But if we did something wrong, everybody who gets one of these is going to do something wrong. And I literally told the app how much the van weighed and it didn't give me the right weight. So I'm thinking there's a problem here. Anyway, so that's the better way. I'm not willing to completely write it off yet. Maybe save your money until, uh, until I investigate a little further. And if I find out something different, I'll come back. But that's going to do it for today. And Steph's car sick, so we're going to go inside. We'll see you later. Bye.